I don't want to talk about how much whiskey I just got on my blazer. <laughs> Jay, what's going on tonight? Hey, man. How you doing? Awesome. Hey, uh, so I think it's probably time that we get into this bull run. If oh, I get yeah. focus. <laughs> Check out this 13-year American whiskey. Hell yeah. Let's see. We got, we got. I think, the same batch tonight, too. So we've got a 13-year American whiskey from Bull Run, and we're Correct. even drinking the same batch. Look at us go. Yeah, so we're looking at... Uh, I've got a bottle 122, and I think okay. you've got a... I've got bottle 182. Away. See, look at us go. The, these are, like, basically sister bottles. Basically, yeah. <laughs> so uh, this is, like, what? Just a, a hair over 126 proof. So... I mean, at first blush, this sounds like a nice, hot, potentially crazy whiskey. I mean, a 13-year American whiskey from Bull Run, a place in Oregon. This is sort of like off the beaten path for most whiskey drinkers, right? Yeah, Oregon is is not the hot spot of the whiskey drinking, at least the United States, as far as I'm aware. Yeah, I don't know shit about that, but I can tell you one thing, man. I'm excited to get into it. What do you say? Yeah, so this is a 13-year whiskey distilled at MGP, and it is at... Uh, cast strength or barrel proof so what do you say should we dive on in let's do it Ooh. that was a big pop let's see i don't know what it is about this 13 year mgp man i just i like this stuff a lot oh man it's like i mean you could probably go as far as to fool a whiskey drinker into thinking this is rum this is like right up that rum is saying man i do like rum you do oh. like rum. Yeah. Wow. That's quite a nose on it, too. Yeah, real buttery, butterscotchy type of fuckery. Super buttery. Well, wow, okay, so so this is reminding me of something on the palate that I, that I super love. And it reminds me of, it's like you wake up on Saturday, like you, you know, you let the kids run for you for a minute, and you take the dog out, and then you make waffles. Okay. That heavy, buttery, mixed waffle. Yeah, there's like a light dough in like a good way, not a youthful way. There's like a there's like that nice dough of, of the waffle mix, and then you got some of the syrup going on. Yeah, Maybe definitely that syrup, yeah. A little bit. I don't know if you're a whipped cream on the waffle kind of person. Yep. But every now and then I, I get some at a restaurant because of whipped cream, and this is this is that package. Yeah. Um, I could see that. And it's not like the uh the waffle cone note that you would get at like the ice cream shop. This is very much the buttery it's like Belgian style. Waffle. Yes. Which is kind of funny because, like, the waffle cone note is like kind of a meme at this point. Like, people like to make fun of it, but like, like this is straight waffles. There's no waffle yeah. cone here. No, this is thick, rich. Just, I mean, it's got a gorgeous mouthfeel to it. It's, everything about this really kind of checks it off for me, which is strange because, I mean, if you think about this, when is the last time somebody recommended you pick up a single barrel of Bull Run? You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I mean, I had one. Earlier this spring, that that was amazing. That was one of the Pinot Noir barrels. This is just yes. straight. There's no extra maturation. Thirteen year American whiskey, so not carrying a bourbon designation, but right. You know, it's I American if whiskey distilled as the same ash as their bourbon, and just aged in uh, non neutral In a blend of barrels. Yeah, yeah. So this is well. Wouldn't yeah. So this me. is batch number. This is not barrel number. So that means that this is not a single barrel. So. Hypothetically, this could have been aged in 99 bourbon barrels and one American whiskey barrel and blended together. True enough. So, I, I I mean, I have a guess. Like this, I hadn't thought of that. This doesn't taste like early times ramped up and proof to me, which is kind of like the, you know, it's not it's not like the poster boy for American whiskey, but few people realize that early times is not bourbon, it's American whiskey. But Right. Which is probably why people did not want to buy a 13-year American whiskey for $59 yep. until they tasted it, because this is amazing. So let's think about this. So this is a 13 years. I'm, I'm 13. trying to think of other notable, like we got 12 year Elijah Craig at 75 bucks. If you see it, 60, 65 in my era, but yeah, I mean, 65 retail anyway. Okay. 65 for retail a, for a, I mean, fairly comparable age and proof whiskey. Yeah. Carrying okay. a bourbon designation. So, I mean, obviously there's that to differentiate, but I mean, if you don't want what? a ton of Oak, this, I mean, Right, exactly. I mean, this is not going to hit you with that uh, that super mature bourbon, rich oaky stuff. It kind of like you know, it turns a lot of people away when something's over eight or ten years. The Bull Run Watershed, and how that's got a lot to do with their, you know, their terroir. And, like that's going to be in their own distillate, which this is not. But still, mm -hmm. I mean, they're aging sourced whiskey in 
Pinot Noir barrels from their area. Yep. Which is also cool. I mean, you, I know that you've had some uh, either single barrel or small batch stuff from the Pinot Noir line that you really were crazy about. Dude, it was insane. And to me, that just says like these guys at the very least know what they're doing on their batching and blending. Yeah. Which can be huge. So Art, I'm Art, excited I mean, to see what else they got. That's one of the tough, tougher roles, I think, is blending. And I don't know if you're a Oregon Pinot Noir fan, but Willamette Valley, Oregon, they have some fantastic wines out there. I don't know shit about shit, but I can tell you that I know when the whiskey is good. Yeah. All right. Well, I don't know. I'm a fan. So this was, this was to me, this was buttery on the nose. Um, no ethanol, which is, is shocking. That's, that's honestly just unreal. A little bit of heat on the palate, mostly like a, that nice Belgian waffle note, some maple syrup, a little bit of vanilla and cream, tiny bit of honey. Kind of reminded me of like a, yep. like a Butterfinger bar kind of so like this is this is pure dessert the oak is is kind of in the middle it's got a little bit of structure to it but uh and the finish is long it's it's got lots of caramel lots of nougat it reminds me of those uh those werther's camp like the caramels that everyone's grandparents have yep i could see that it definitely get that honey that hangs out there it's not like the super bright wildflower honey it's just, this is sort of like your like it might even go as far as be like a golden syrup or any of your yeah. uh, heavier baking syrup type of deals yeah, like a demerara, like a brown sugar syrup. Yes, exactly. Very natural sugar type of deal. It's, I mean, this is dessert. You said it, man. It, it's sweet, it's heavy, and it's delicious. And if you're not trying these out for 60 bucks or less, holy shit, man. So that's the verdict. Out. That's your verdict. So we got a 13-year whiskey, $59 cast strength. Buy it. Yay. If you don't buy it, I hate you. <laughs> Well, if you don't buy it, I'll still like you, but I will buy the one that you don't buy because I like it. Well, that's fair. 